Dr. Sears, let's talk a bit about Ozempic and just your thoughts as to whether you really think this is going to be a game changer in terms of our obesity epidemic. Uh it is a game changer in terms of revenues, but it will be a game changer in terms of our obesity epidemic. I don't think so. And the reason is because we have to define obesity. Uh, obesity is not based on your percent, uh, our BMI, it's percent on excess body fat. And the real definition of obesity in a medical uh, standpoint is saying any a percent body fat greater than 32%, that's about one third your weight, is basically you're obese. That's uh, in the game. So now we can go back and now look at the, the Ozempic study. Now we had to go deep into the study, not on the paper itself, but in the supplemental section, and then be of like a, a, a detective story, looking for the real facts. So it's not how much weight the people lost, but how much fat, how much did they reduce their percent body fat? Remember I said that 33%, anything above that, you're obese. Well, the average starting of, you know, percent obesity in these individuals on the study was 43%. They were not obese. They were morbidly obese. Okay, I've taken my drug for a year. Now, how does that affect fat loss, which is very different than weight loss? Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out that, first of all, about 40% of the uh, total weight loss came from lean body mass. Things you don't want to lose, like, yeah. you know, your muscle, your heart, your liver, your kidney, your brain, those things you want to hang around. So if we did it, now look at the percent body fat loss, they started at 43%. And after one year of time, uh, they basically had gone from 40, 43 to 39% body fat. They're still obese mm -hmm. of, and actually morbidly obese, still at high risk of chronic disease. So was Ozempic a game changer? Probably not. Uh, but the fact is, it does indicate that if you basically can't control hunger, you can lose the fat. But what you want to do is to lose the fat and not lose the lean body mass. Ideally, the holy grail is to lose the fat and gain lean body mass. So essentially, people who took Ozepic, they really only lost about 4% of their body fat. Um, and they also lost lean body mass and a whole bunch of other stuff. So so really, the goal is to, to focus on the fat loss, but have it be sustainable at a half a pound to a pound po per week using dietary and, and changes. That's the, best, that's the best you can expect. Mm -hmm. And so what's the alternative? The alternative, in my opinion, is metabolic engineering. Yes, we're going to go in there and reprogram your metabolism to burn fat faster, which means we have to activate uh, AMPK, which is the master regulator of metabolism in each of our 30 trillion cells. Now, that's the power of, of metabolic engineering. It's a multifactorial program that basically allows that to happen. And of our early studies, it says, yes, you will lose the fat at the same rate of Ozempic, but there's one big difference. You actually increase lean body mass. So I'll say, that's what I want. I want to lose fat. It's going to be a slow process. Make no mistake about it. But I want to increase lean body mass. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's the uh, power of metabolic engineering. It gives you that possibility to do this on a lifetime basis. So Dr. Sears, people that are listening or that are struggling with weight, if, if you survey them, you know, many people will be like, I've tried every diet approach that's out there. So can you just really focus again on what you just said about how, how this is different in terms of reprogramming your hormones, you know, for, for people who've like, I've tried this, this isn't going to be any different, you know, the how of, of how this actually works. Well, first of all, there's a difference between diet and science. Everybody's <laughs> an expert in, in diet. Say, I've got the hottest diet saying, say, where's the science? I was like, science, science. So uh, that's why metabolic engineering is different. Yes, you have to basically, you know, restrict calories. Mm -hmm. But you have to restrict calories without hunger or fatigue. But that's just the start of your journey. You have to restrict the calories to reduce insulin resistance and then use the omega-3 fatty acids to resolve the insulin resistance and then use the polyphenols to repair the damage caused by the insulin resistance. It's a more complicated a program, easy to use, but it's based on science. Now, uh, the thing with Ozempic, they have shown, yes, it is possible to stop appetite 
But it also said when you stop appetite, you also lose a lot of lean body mass because you're not taking enough protein. So again, this is why metabolic engineering is the next generation of science in terms of metabolic control. And the more you control your metabolism, the longer and better life you will have. So Dr. Sears, if somebody is currently on Ozempic and they decide to follow metabolic engineering, you, can you do the two in, um, you know, together? You could, but then I say, why? <laughs> it's, it's, Playing devil's advocate here. <laughs> yeah, does, does Ozempic have some side effects? Yes. yes yeah. So I was saying, say, why? You, your fat loss will be no greater, but the side effect profile will be far less. And that's the power of metabolic engineering. It takes any drug and makes it work better at lower concentrations. Mm-hmm. You say, you mean I could take less Ozempic and get the same effect if you're following metabolic engineering? Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not a bad trade-off because less drug means less side effects. Excellent, excellent. So you can do metabolic engineering no matter where you're at, uh, you know, in, in your process for, for losing body fat. But so Dr. Sears, if people want to learn more about metabolic engineering or how to really follow this as a lifestyle, where should they go? Well, they should go to drsears.com. That's the science site of the zone. Basically, the science is complex, but my job is to make it science understandable and then be you and I together working and saying, make it a plan that can be followed for a lifetime. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time today, as always. Thank you. For more on this subject and many other topics on the science of wellness, go to drsears.com.